Good morning, children. So our chap chapter one is over. That is already studied in uh, previous year. So gone smoothly, right? We are going to move our second chapter, chapter two, large numbers. Large numbers. In the previous year, we studied about uh, one. Uh, we know that one digit number, two digit number, three digit number. Last year, we studied about four digit number. What are the four digit number? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. This is known as four digit number, smallest four digit number. How will we get this four digit number? The largest three digit number is 399. When we add one with that 999, we got this thousand number. It's a four digit number. This is the smallest four digit number we know. And what is the largest four digit number? Largest four digit number 9999. We already learned in the previous year. This is the largest four digit number. When we succeed one to this four digit number, which means add one to this number, add one. What will be the answer? Nine plus one, ten. Once, uh, uh, zero in one place and ten place in one. Again, one plus one, ten, zero, carry over one. Again, one plus nine, ten, zero, carry over one. Again, one plus nine, ten. So, from four digit number, we directly enter to five digit number. Clear? Five digit number. So, we can say that the largest four digit number is 9999 and the smallest five digit number is 10,000. Look at the chart. Look at the chart. In thousands, please. Ten thousand, thousand. In ones, please. Ones, tens, hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand. So, how to read this? Is ten thousand. How to read this? Ten thousand. Then I wrote it. I uh, already wrote it uh, under number. 98153. How do we read this? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand. So, ten thousand. Under ten thousand, I wrote nine here. Under thousand, I wrote eight. Under hundred, I wrote one. Under tens, I wrote five. Under ones, I wrote three. Under ones, I wrote three. So, how we read this? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand. In between this thousand and hundreds, we have to put comma. We have to put comma. Then how to read this? Ninety-eight thousand. Clear? Ninety-eight thousand one hundred fifty-three. Clear? Ninety-eight thousands one hundred fifty-three. I hope you understand. You understood how to read this. And similarly, we can uh, express that number in expanded form. In expanded form. How? 98,153. Is equal to 3 in 1's place, no? So we write 3 plus. In 10's place, what is the number? 5. 5 10's. Means what is 5 10's? 50. So we have to write 50 plus. Then next place is 100's, no? What is the number lies in 100's place? 1. 1. So, one hundreds are, what one hundreds are? Hundred. Hundred. Plus, what is the next place value? What is the next place value? Eight. Eight lies in, eight lies in ones, tens, hundreds, thousands place. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand. Eight lies in thousands place. So, eight thousands. 8,000 means 8,000. 8,000 plus 
9 lies in 10 thousands place. So, 9 ten thousands become 9 0 0 0 0. Clear? So, this is known as expanded form. What? Expanded form. This is known as expanded form. 98, 98,153. How we read this? 98,153. How we expand this? 90,000. 90, 90,000 90, plus plus 8 lies in 1000 place, no? So 8,000, 8,000. 1 lies in 100. 100. Plus 5 lies in 10 space. So 5 times are 50. 50 plus 3 lies in 1 space. 3 ones are 3. So 3. I hope you understood the expanded, expanded form also. Then what about the next one? I wrote another number 21934. Put uh, 2, 4, 4 comes under 1 space. 3 comes under 10 space. 9 comes under 100 place, 1 comes under 1000 place, and this 2 comes under 10,000 place. Clear? Then how we read? How can we read this number? How can we read this number? 1, 10, 100, 1000. In between this 10, hundreds and 1000, we have to put comma. We have to put comma. So, 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. 20, what's the number? 21. 21,000, clear? 21,934. Clear? 21,934. Then, uh, look at how to expand with this form. 21,000. 934 is equal to 20,000 plus then first maybe the next 1000 plus 900 plus 30 plus 4. This is the expanded form of this number. Clear? And what about the next number? 43291. 1 lies in 1 place, 9 lies in 10 place, 2 lies in 100 place, 3 lies in 1000 place, and 4 lies in 10,000 place. Already we know that we have to put a comma in between 1000 and 100. So, how we read this? 43,291. How to read this? 43,291. Then we will look. How to uh, express as an expanded form? 43,291 is equal to 40,000. Since 4 lies in 10,000 place. So 40,000 plus 3,000 plus 200 plus 90 plus 1. This is the Form, expanded form of five digit number. This is the table expansion of five digit number. Hope you understand this. Okay. We already studied how to expand this. We can write the, another chart, uh, chart wise, place value chart wise. Place value chart wise. This is three ones are three. The 5 in 10 place it becomes 50. Place value 50. Uh, well, I, 1 lies in 100 place. So 1, uh, one lies in 100 place. 100 are 100. And 8 lies in 1000 place. The, so the place value is 8000. And the pla uh, 9 lies in 10,000 place. So place value. Place value of 9 is 90,000. 90, 90,000. Clear. Place value. And what about the place value? You heard about uh, last year we already studied the face value also. What is the face value of 3? Just simply 3. What is the face value of 5? Simply 5. What is the face value of 1? Simply 1. 
What is the face value of eight? Eight. What is the face value of nine? Nine. But the place value is different. Place value of three is three. Place value of five is fifty. Place value of one is hundred. Place value of eight is eight thousand. Place value of nine is ninety thousand. That is the difference between face value and the place value. Okay. We can write the uh, name. Write in name ninety eight thousand one hundred fifty three. How we write ninety eight thousand one hundred fifty three. This is the number name. This is known as number name. This is place value chart. We already learned the uh, expand, expanded form. Now this is the table method. I hope you understand these ones. And how we represent in a numerical form? Uh, twenty one thousand twenty one thousand nine hundred nine hundred thirty four. How we represent twenty one? Thousand twenty one thousand nine hundred. So in hundreds place is nine thirty four thirty four simply thirty four. Can you find this number in any this chart? Yes, this is that number. That's the number twenty one thousand nine hundred thirty four. This is the numerical form and this is the number name. Clear. Then we are going to study about the representation in abacus. Uh, how do we know abacus place values ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand? We put all uh, beads in that uh, each stem. How many beads in first uh, ones place? One. How many beads in tens place? One, two, three. So three beads. Any bead in hundreds place? No. So we have to write zero. And in ten thousands place, how many beads are here? One, two. So four beads are there. So four in uh, thousands place. How many beads in ten thousands place? One, two, two beads in ten thousands place. So <coughs> this is a representation in abacus and how to read using abacus. Twenty-four thousand. Nothing in hundred. So uh, no, no need to mention anything. Thirty-one. So twenty-four thousand. Thirty-one. Finished. Twenty-four thousand thirty-one. How to write this? Twenty-four thousand. Since there is no bead in hundreds place, no need to mention hundred. Then thirty-one. Twenty-four thousand thirty-one. This is the representation of. This is the representation of abacus and this is the number name. Uh, and so we have to complete exercise 2.1. Homework, your homework was this. Exercise 2.1 full. Page number. Page number. Thank you.